federal government finance the construction as a national facility of a large new electron linear accelerator. Time to get my stuff together and head off to work. So right now I'm heading over to the Caltrain to head down to Palo Alto for the day. Once I head down the train to the Bowen, uh, let's talk a little bit about the history of SLAC, which is the place I'm working this summer. SLAC, the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, is a Department of Energy National Laboratory operated by Stanford, located outside their campus in Menlo Park. The Stanford Linear Accelerator is the longest particle accelerator in the world. Particle accelerators take electrons and put them at crazy speeds and smash them into molecules where they're able to observe the changing of atoms at an extremely fine scale. This has led to the discovery of a few crazy physics phenomenon and led to some Nobel Prizes. One including the discovery of the quark inside of protons and neutrons in the 1990s. Another really cool thing is in 1991, the first internet connection in the US was made at Slack, where they connected a computer at the laboratory to a computer at a local restaurant. Slack currently has over a thousand employees, 150 who have PhDs in physics, and Slack also serves over 3,000 visiting researchers where people from around the world are able to come in and try their latest experiments using Slack equipment. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place to work. It's been a really cool summer. I am a few weeks in. I think I got about a month left. Let's head there now. I do live quite far away from work. The reason why is I only need to really go in two to three days a week. And other than that, I'm just kind of doing online Zoom meetings and a lot of programming. Uh, it's more fun to live in San Francisco and just kind of take the train in every day. And also with my skateboard, I'm able to get there quickly. Uh, it's a nice setup. And this is Sand Hill Road. A little sketchy to ride my skateboard on it, which is why I go through Moma Park. But this is the road that Slack is on, so I have to go through it for a little bit. And so this is Slack. It's a really big campus. It's about two miles away from the main Stanford campus. The part of Slack that I'm dealing with is LCLS, the Linac Coherent Light Source. And you can think about it as like a big laser. And there's these two big buildings, which is where they have these big instruments where they take readings of the different samples when they hit with the x-rays. So this building behind me here is the near hall, and the one that's a little bit farther behind it is the far hall. The laser is right, right over there. So this one is closest to the laser, and that one's farther. The names are very creative.
yeah, that's what a day looks like for me when I come into work here at Slack. Uh, it's only about two, three days a week, which is why I'm living so far away. Living situation worked out better that way. But yeah, it's really cool seeing all the science that's going on at the hutches in both the experiment halls. I've seen a lot of cool, crazy stuff going on. A lot of stuff that's way over my head that's just crazy advanced physics and stuff. It's really cool seeing everything that's going on here and learning about the cool science. The story of how I actually got this internship is a little crazy. So for previous internships, I would apply to a ton of places and I would maybe hear back from a few, get uh, interviews and such. But for this summer, I was kind of planning on doing not much, just kind of chilling before grad school. But when I was applying to a ton of PhD programs, one of the professors that I was applying for actually reached out to me and said, hey, you should do this summer internship at Slack. And I said, sure, because it sounded really cool, and it has been, and it worked out well. And this area over here is the main quad. It's pretty cool. Over there is the main building with the cafeteria and just other office buildings and this fountain. It's usually on. I think it's off because it's later in the day. Yeah, nice little area. It's usually pretty busy when there's lunch or there's a break. This is what I mean when I say driving on Sand Hill Road is pretty sketchy. Skateboard is definitely the best way to commute to work. 